destined for San Francisco. They were coming in on runway 28 left at San Francisco International Airport and they crashed on landing. We have a number of investigators who are launching with us here from headquarters. They are being led by investigator in charge, Bill English. We have a number of subject matter experts who are going to be leading specific teams. Those teams are going to be focused on operations, human performance, survival factors, the airport, airport operations, and they're going to be focusing on the aircraft, and the systems, the structures, and the power plants. We are going to be supported by a number of team members here in Washington, D.C. They're in the process of collecting information on air traffic control operations, on weather, and on maintenance issues. They will be able to gather information while the rest of our team is en route to provide us with that information when we land so we can hit the ground running. We have three investigators who are based on the West Coast. They are deploying right now to the accident scene to stake it down in advance of our team's arrival from Washington. Those three investigators are based in the LA area and they should arrive in San Francisco in the next couple of hours. I have spoken to Administrator Huerta of the FAA. We are getting very good cooperation from the Federal Aviation Administration, from Boeing, and from other participants. We are working now with our counterparts in Korea, the Korean Air and Accident Investigation Board, and we will invite them to serve as a participant in our investigation. We're leaving now. We should arrive in San Francisco in just a few hours, and then we will get to work when we arrive. I'm happy to take any questions. At this point, what do you, what do you think happened? Do you have any sense of that yet? The question is, is at this point, what do we think happened? Obviously, we have a lot of work to do. As you know, when our teams arrive on scene, they work to collect information. We're certainly going to be looking at the aircraft to try to find uh, the cockpit voice recorders and flight data recorders are functioning uh, at the time of the accident. We'll be looking to get information from them as well as document the accident scene. It's still too early for us to tell. We haven't left Washington yet. Once we arrive in San Francisco, we'll have a lot better sense of what's going on and be able to provide additional information. Any chance it was pilot error? There any other questions? Is this a relatively new aircraft? The question is, uh, is this a relatively new aircraft? This is a Boeing 777, and I mentioned that Boeing will likely be one of the parties to our investigation, and we work very closely uh, with entities who have expertise to bring that to the investigation. The 777 has been around for a while, carries several hundred passengers, and we'll certainly be looking uh, at everything when we get there. We have not determined what the focus of this investigation is yet. We have to get on scene to really begin to collect the factual information to do the documentation and to draw on our experts who will be putting together information while we're in route. One more question. Is there any chance this is pilot error? The question is, is there any chance that this is pilot error? As I said before, we haven't left Washington yet. We still have a lot of work to do. We will be looking at everything. Everything's on the table at this point. We have to gather the facts before we reach any conclusions. NTSB's investigations are very thorough and we will gather information and provide that information to the media as soon as possible. Thank you all very much. Are we planning on briefing again today?